Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. But I'm receiving questions on how did I buy or I should say finance my property? Uh, how did I send the money and stuff like that? So that's what we're going to talk about. Stay with me. First thing we did, of course, is to look for a house. And I decided to buy a condominium because when I'm traveling back and forth to the Philippines, I like the convenience and the safety of just locking up my condo, going back to the Philippines, it's like staying in a hotel. I feel secured rather than buying a single home that you're going to leave vacant for so many months a year. So I hired two or three real estate agents and uh, I selected the one that I like and she's pretty good and that's how it all got started. Now let's talk more about the financing because that is what really the subject matter or the, the topic uh, that we're going to discuss today. I discussed with my agent what are the payment terms because I'm not familiar with the country uh, is there a mortgage I can get? How do I make the payments? How do I send the money to the Philippines? Of course, sending the money to the Philippines is something that they are not very familiar with. But whether or not financing could be obtained, that they can talk about. One bad news I have to tell you is, and it's not necessarily a bad news, because when you get to be of retirement age, you, you must have accumulated enough cash not necessarily, <laughs> but most of you would have accumulated enough cash to buy something for cash. Financing for the, for the elderly is not easy to get because here is how it works. If you, can, if you want to borrow $100,000 today, if you are 30 years old, no problem. You'll be able to get maybe 30 or 20 year mortgage. But let's say you're 70 years old and I'm sorry, let's say you are 60 years old and let's say based on their policy, when you reach the age of 70, you cannot get any mortgage, you cannot get any financing. So if you apply at the age of 60, that probably means that you only have 10 year life. That is your mortality. Within 10 years, you will probably pass away. And because of that, they will not give you more than 10 year mortgage. Also, the interest rate is higher. Uh, the older you are, because of the higher risk, the higher is the interest rate. Now, don't believe what I say. I'm just giving you guidelines as to what to ask for. So talk to your bank, talk to several banks, because different banks have different policies on this matter, and you'll have to find out for yourself what their policy is and whether or not you can get financing. But let's assume that, because for, for the most part, either you don't want to get uh, a mortgage. Mm, by the way, loan in the Philippines is much more expensive than in the U.S. So if here you are paying 3-4%, expect to pay 8% in the Philippines, maybe even higher. So the term is shorter, the interest rate is higher. Because of that, I decided, okay, I'm going to pay cash. Well, the only reason I inquired about financing or I researched on this is because I was thinking maybe I can buy a couple of properties and one will be rental and it will provide me with some passive income. Uh, so, an interest rate is so high and after I found out all the intricacies of financing in the Philippines, I said, no, I'll just hope to pay cash. The next question to ask is, okay, I'm in the U.S., how do I make payments? By the way, when I bought my property, it was three years away from being completed. I, I bought it on a pre-construction basis uh, for me to get a lower price. Besides, I was not thinking of moving right away. And they said, okay, in about three years, and that's a commitment, not about three years, it will get done. Now, did I believe that? No, I did my own research. What is the reputation of this builder? Do you think they can finish the job on time? Because remember, I have to sell my home in the United States. At least that was the plan. Anyway, 
uh, I found out that okay this is a three-year window and what they will want you to do is to pay, pay let's say a down payment of 20% and uh, the balance assuming you're paying cash the balance will be paid lump sum at the end of three years well the payment for the next the 20 percent payment for the next let's say three years will be divided by 36 months no interest why should they charge interest they have not even given the property yet okay so they just divide it over 36 months or if you want you can put up your cash but because i did not want the risk of i didn't want the risk of giving them everything uh with no assurance that it's gonna get done on time i wanted to some time to observe and see how they're doing how the completion okay uh, of the building is getting done so that's what I did now unfortunately or luckily depending on your situation in two years it got done so it got done ahead of schedule that means I take pride in what I did about researching the builder so that's very very important research the builder and see what kind of reputation they have so at any rate because it got done in two years and I agreed and I agreed that they did not I did not have to settle at that time they just gave me the option of settling earlier since the building was already completed and I said okay let's go ahead and settle up so two years later I flew to the Philippines and at that point uh, oh, by the way, I jumped the gun on this. Uh, when 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 I was in the planning stage, I said, okay, how, how am I going to move this money? And what I did is I have a 36-month window uh, within which to make sure all the cash is in the Philippines. So before I left the Philippines, I opened a U.S. dollar account and Philippine peso account, Philippine currency account. And... I planned on putting a deposit so that at the end of three years I will have the entire money that I will need to do the closing. But of course, I should have the money for the monthly payment to begin with. So, so that's what I did. I deposited, uh, let's say, three thousand dollars every month in that account, and then sometimes I put more, sometimes I put less. But I have to make sure that at the end of three years I have the entire money and in the Philippines and what I did is I used uh, WISE uh, it's an online money transfer and the first thing I did is to test I sent $50 and, and it arrived either the same day or the next day very fast uh, I have to select which uh, which uh, money transfer agency I should use and as far as this is concerned, look at how much money, dollars, you are paying them and how much peso you are receiving. Include all fees on both ends if there is a charge on the other end. For example, if the local bank, or domestic bank in the Philippines has a charge, include that. What is the net amount you will receive and what is the pesos and what is the net amount dollars that you will pay and you will know which one to select plain and simple but I decided not to put the money everything there right away because I know that the, the exchange rate varies and most likely this was my prediction and it happened most likely exchange rate will go up that means if I delay the sending of the money I will get more in terms of Philippine peso in the Philippines so that's what I did and uh, I made sure that even though I'm paying a small amount every month I want to make sure that at the end of three years I will have all the funds in there okay now that is how I made arrangement uh, obviously if you are paying cash now for example if you're existing if you're buying an existing property You'll have to bring all the money. Well, you have to talk to your bank. There's different banks have different policies. You have to talk to your bank and find out uh, what their policy is as far as sending money because most banks have limits. But when you do a wire transfer for you to be able to bring as much money in the Philippines, they may ask for some documentation. What is this money for? Are you buying a property? Okay, blah, blah, blah. On the other hand, they may not. 
it depends on each bank. So you will have to inquire what your bank requires. Or you may decide to make only minimal payment uh, using the met methodology that I mentioned, using Remitly or WISE or uh, whoever is a third party. Or even your bank could be sending you money. But keep in mind, banks have low exchange rate. So you will get less peso in the Philippines. So keep that in mind. So you have to look for third party uh, agencies that, that you can use to send money. Uh, now, the, 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 as, as I mentioned, luckily it got done. Did I mention it already? No, I did not. Uh, if you, in our case, we closed sooner than scheduled. In two years, instead of three, in two years, they notified me that the property is done and it's available for transfer if I so desire. If I so desire, that means they're not going to hold me to it because my contract is for three years. So I said, oh yeah, okay, so we decided to go to the Philippines to do the closing and at that point the money is already at the bank. So I made sure I transferred everything to a checking account and on the settlement table I wrote the check to pay off the balance and they transferred the title to me. Now, titling is another issue. It takes a long time in the Philippines for title to be completed. But I was not concerned about it because I'm not going to stay there all the time anyway. Or I'm not going to sell tomorrow. And I think it took nine months. About Yeah, I think it took nine months before all the titles were completed. So I have the title to the uh, property. Actually, it's uh, not a title. It's like a uh, stock. Uh, stuck in a corporation because I bought a condominium. Uh, so that is basically how I handled the uh, purchase of the property, uh, the monthly payment that I had to make, how to fund your bank account in the Philippines, but make sure you open up a bank account. Oh, there's one more thing that I forgot. I did not want to write a check from the US to the Philippines uh, using my Philippine checking account, let's say. What I did is uh, I asked them uh, during the purchase process, uh, would I be able to pay this by giving you my bank account number and you just run through a uh, debit charge to my bank account every month? And they said, yeah. So I just have to make sure that I have money in there, which I did because I was accumulating money to pay for the closing, not, not the closing cost, but the final payment of 80%. So I have money in there and I just monitored it and I made sure that by the way that my bank account I will be able to access in the US so make sure you can access your bank account so every time I make a transfer I look at it it's in there no problem next month I make another transfer next day I check it it's there no sweat so every transaction that goes through I can see so that is how I did it. I did it for a couple of years and then made a final settlement. And I'm a, now I'm settled in the Philippines uh, with my condominium. That's how I handled the whole process. So hopefully this answered the questions that you have and uh, hopefully this will help you in uh, your purchase of a uh, condominium in the Philippines. Good luck. Unfortunately, I cannot give you much information regarding purchase of a single home uh, because I decided not to buy a single home and everything I'll tell you is not theory it's based on my actual experience I had no problem whatsoever I was able to get online information at the bank so I can I can see the the ins and outs going in going out going in going out the withdrawal by the condominium company and uh, by the way I did uh, buy from DMCI that's the uh, very reputable company in the Philippines uh, if you need to know the name of the agent that I use, I'll be more than happy to provide that to you too. But just ask me in the comment section down below. So, I'll appreciate it if you share this with other people. And by the way, if you click like and do subscribe to my channel unless you have already done so. Thank you so much. Make it a great day and God bless.